It's Easter Sunday in Appling, Georgia, and what a day this could be. Tied the lead and looking to take down the first major of the year of the top American in Paige Pierce and the top European in Kristen Tatar. Who will take the Champions Cup? You'll find out live on the Disc Golf Network. Kona fired off a one over yesterday. Not bad in those conditions. That's Elaine. a great score in those conditions. She's lined up beautifully and they pulled a fire one. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she put it right under the basket from where she was. That must be close to a 400 foot shot. Is that Keep tree going to hinder her run up? Mm. And she has to make sure she corrects for her positioning since she can't do her run up straight behind the disc. And it looks like she was really accurate. And another Somebody disc closer. Who would have thought you could get closer than Kona's on that big old second shot? U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship is sold out of FPO so far with wow. over 100 women in FPO alone. Wow. So we owe Old Man Wallace and the whole Wallace family a huge debt of gratitude over the way they made women's disc golf the exciting event that it is. But she kind of has a crouchy style anyhow, so it might not be a big deal for Sarah. <laughs> what a wise choice. She wanted to jump, yep. and she canned it. Oh, that actually hit chains. Band and then chains on the way down. And wow. Make, wow. That would be definitely the only two on this hole for the tournament in the FPO group. Yeah, she's got a straight look at her. Fantastic shot from the car. So we have two great drives, and she's got an uphill look at the putt. Well done. That's she the best the field has shot all week, isn't it? Absolutely. Four down is absolutely the best, and she's got the opportunity to double that. Hokum's third on seven. Weaving through the trees. Oh, wow. Wonderfully <laughs> executed. <laughs> Keeping it clean. That's a par for Hokum on seven. Yeah. Nope. Rock. Little bit to the right. Oh, what oh. a kiss. Nice tree hit. She gets the chef's kiss off the tree, and she is under the bucket. <laughs> Own. Her second on the par four ninth. And she's taking the wider route to the basket. Another chef's kiss for own. <laughs> yeah, she, she didn't hit that tree very much. It, um, and that's when you get favorable kisses, is when you just barely off your line. An understable disc, so she's taking all those calculations. She's going with understable. And she hit it perfectly. Look at that. Hokum. What a skilled shot. Way to fight back after that bogey on nine. That's her third shot, and she is attacking the green. Beautiful. Dang, though. She's been so consistent all tournament, just playing these well-controlled shots. This is Katrina for birdie on hole 14. Right now, she is tied with Valerie Montahanu. That would put her into fifth alone if she makes it. Katrina. What a day. She is six down with a clean scorecard. And...
That looks so good out of her hand. Huge putt from the five time. She is fighting. She wants to win the major and tie Valerie she Jenkins so competitive. for the most majors won in FPO. Over to Katrina Allen's second on full 14. 14 wow. a par four. Looks like she got snagged on something on the first shot. That's but, into the oh, green. Wow. At, at minimum, and <laughs> trying to hold on to that $1,000. She's right around that cash line. And this is a blind approach shot that goes downhill. So she's got to give that disc some turn. It went in. It went in? <laughs> no way. Oh, my gosh. So let me tell you, there is a golden Bushnell oh, you're right. on the line for an ace or the farthest that's, throw in. That's got to be That it. is absolutely the farthest throw in. And what a magnificent shot. She can't see it from where she is. She's just... Gauging Chip. where she needs to throw. Had to ask if it stayed in. Pierce for birdie and to tie for the lead. Stay up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. She is something special. Man. She rises to the occasions. This big gap there for the sidearm. I don't think she minds that redirection. No, I, I don't think that did much to the disc. No, not, not Just a Just slowed it down a touch. Mm -hmm. Most aggressive putter on tour. This is... Oh. Pierce closes the gap to one with two to play. You know, she looked at it. She felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking at the basket and you feel comfortable, just go with it. 18, right? We're on 18, yep. yep. With Katrina's third. So it looks like she hit the stuff to the right and it kicked left. Left, okay. So it's a bit of a kind of like almost a jump putt here. And she has put that under the bucket for a birdie finish and a seven down clean round. That's wide. It's a firebird, hopefully it'll get back in. Oh, it made it. Wow. Paige throwing four absolutely needs the up and down to save bogey. It is actually a routine shot, despite the fact that she's stretched out. A lot of room to work with. But with nerves, you just never know what's going to happen. Routinely. It was very routine. Yeah. Paige going back to that passion. See, there's just no drama when Paige throws. Welcome Come in on. your Champions Cup winner and first major title of the year for Paige Pierce.